In the usual discussions of um, cosmological models, one hear about uh, one hears about uh, Robertson, Walker, right, or uh, or Fermi, Robertson, Walker, uh, space times, <coughs> and uh, and metrics, and so on and so forth. I'll show you now uh, why, really. Uh, Robertson Walker metrics or Robertson Walker space times, right? That terminology doesn't make sense. I think it's more like like uh, saying this, for example, that a certain space time admits a Robertson Walker style coordinate patch, or that it has uh, Robertson Walker observer fields. I think that terminology is much better for that, and I'll show you uh, really quick why. First of all, in the literature, it's normally shown like this, right? You have this uh, thing right here. Normally, by the way, I write this as a instead of a squared. But then you have to take a square root somewhere else, you know. So, but anyhow, this is, I think, the standard way. So they have, you know, this is in two dimensions, by the way. But, you know, they, uh, you can do it in general in, in higher dimensions and the same thing, you know, same ideas will carry through. So you have that... Um, you have that uh, in in two dimensions. You have this right here, right? This uh, scale factor term, right? Have zero on the diagonals because it's you know perpendicular to the the space is perpendicular to the time part. Then you have uh, minus one, let's say, for the time part, right? Okay. So this would be the form of a two-dimensional Robertson-Walker space-time or metric, right? The problem is this: I could choose any crazy coordinates, right? here on the same space time right and what what would happen is basic is basically that uh, that basically that this thing will change right right here in other words this thing will look totally odd and totally crazy and stuff like that okay so this itself is not the metric right it's just in coordinates how the how the metric looks okay so in other words, to say Robertson Walker metric doesn't make sense, right? Maybe maybe in the sense that it's a metric that admits, you know, uh, a, a Robertson Walker patch or a coordinate system, right? Or observer field. But anyways, um, so that's one thing. So really, Robertson Walker metric, I don't, I don't really like it that much. Secondly, there's another issue. The, the thing is this that it may turn there's some space times that actually they, they allow two different or various different of these uh, Robertson Walker uh, patches that that the patches look different with a different scale factor and so on and so forth okay and in fact you know where the space part is also different where the space part for one of them may be flat the other one curved so in other words <laughs> that just this alone is not what the it's not what the actual metric is so it's better to say Robertson Walker uh, a coordinate patches, right? Or again, even better, I, I would say uh, observer fields. So to drive the point home, I'll show you this example right here. Imagine two-dimensional Minkowski spacetime, right? You put on these coordinates, right? So it's x of s t is equal to t times hyperbolic sine of s, comma hyperbolic cosine of s, right? Okay. When you when you write this uh, these coordinates. In, in the you know in the patch of s and t right the metric takes on this form t squared zero zero minus one so the t squared is acting you know like the a over here all right now it turns out that this is is uh, of you know of uh, robertson walker form right and you have these uh hyperboloids right here is your space slices so in fact this is what would normally be termed uh, robertson walker space time right with with uh, space being hyperbolic space okay but again as a metric though this is nothing more than just flat space so it's not a robertson walker metric it's just that this observer field or this core you know or this coordinate patch right a observer field and coordinate patch by the way are not the same thing but they're very closely related in the, right especially in this case so it just you know it just says that in that in this in that observer field or that coordinate patch the metric takes on that form Finally, notice that in flat space, you can also just take the one 
that is you know x of st is, is just uh, s in the x direction and t in the time direction and that's just the regular flat slicing that one would normally do and there you know the metric just takes a form uh, one one for this term right here a negative one for this term right here zero zero and that is of robertson walker form right it's rather trivial there's no time variation right but uh and both of these are actually robertson walker uh coordinates on the same space time namely flat space time so you know i hope this uh sort of illuminated some things for you